Hi, this is Cyber Horn 92 here, and I'm here with who? Uh, Jorge Bernal. And what did you do at the Arizona Regional? So I went undefeated at the Arizona Regional, and uh, yeah, you see uh, Pure Elvis. Wow, that's uh, crazy. Yeah. All right, all right, before I get into the video, do you want to give any shout outs? Uh, yeah, shout out to my friend Rubio Dudes. Shout out to J.A. Games in Puerto Rico. Shout out to Jonathan. I actually love you guys. And thank you for helping my out, helping me text. So, yeah. All Shout right. out to everyone. Sounds good. All right, let's see your wonderful deck list, bud. Okay, so let's start with the spells. Let's start from 1 MSP, 1 First Edmund, 3 Extra, and 3 Prosperity. Um, so what what made you want to play um, extra draw power besides it's really good? Was there a time that like there's like really dead card when you have the extravagance then you draw into the prosperity or that rarely happened? Uh, yeah, it did happen But I wouldn't mind because I would set the rest. I can even set it as a bluff For either for whatever they have it can be a bluff. Also, I, I played this deck as a marathon I do not expect to win in one two turns so I would rather see this, keep it, keep this for later on, so I have a better chance to get the card that I want. So I wouldn't mind like having one or two in the hand because I can either discard it for lore, I can have it for later on, so it can give me a better chance to get to the card that I want. So it was always also if one of these gets baited, I still have the other to get to the to where I want to get. So yeah. I was happy with that decision. That's true, and we it's been a while I see Misco Space Siphon. What what made you play that card? So the thing is that I do not main deck Solid Judgment and I wanted spell or trap removals for decks like Flounderies with the trap cards, uh for Prankies with their quick play and also the equip pair for, for break. So the things I also use the lore. So I think it's, this is three cards that I can uh, two ways for me to play this. So I can get it off lore to remove something that bothers me and that way I can also go for easier OTKs. So I think this card is really useful. The fact that we play lore can make any one card a three card. So yeah, I also didn't want to pay the 1k, that's why I took this over Cyclone. It, uh, it was good in every match. Alright, alright, makes sense, makes sense. And it's too tough, you know, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is for the spells, uh, now for the monsters. I play two. Two. Oh, can you uh, move the camera a little bit down? A little bit? Yep. Oh, there we go. Yep. Alright. Um, what what made you want to play the kaiju over um, Lava Golem? So, Flounderies, they mm -hmm. play the Barish statue. Mm -hmm. So, also sometimes I just need to get rid of one thing. Either DPE or the or the token. Mm -hmm. So I I want this to be alive at any matchup. Flounderis is really popular now. So this gets rid of the statue, which doesn't let me play. Plus gives me a target for Ice Dragon Prison. If I wouldn't play this against Flounderis, Ice Dragon Prison will be dead. And at times I feel that Lao Golem will be dead in my hand. Sometimes two monsters. They, your opponent may not have to monster, they play with only one if they break, so this was always useful for me. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Alright. Yeah, uh, quick fact, I uh, wanted to point out that if you have this card revealed, if you have this card in your hand, and you haven't revealed it, you can play a spell, you can have a spell in your hand, set it, activate it, and resolution, you can summon him the oh. same turn. So, oh. this is something people forget. I can attack, Flip the trap card and then attack with this on the battle phase. So this card can be summoned during the battle phase during any point of the of your turn if you don't reveal it. So sometimes I wait for my turn, like main phase two, to reveal this card in order to maximize its potential. That is smart. Yeah, it, it won me a lot of games because I will go into this the lore and booster max and that's 85. So yeah. For the trap lineup, I play the Three Torrentials, uh, two Strikes, three Ice Dragon Prison, the Eldritch Package, three Ghost and Mash, three Punishment, and three Skill Drains. 
True, true. Uh, how was the three um Ice Dragon Prison? Um, people usually play two. What made you want to play the third one? So they were always uh alive because of the kaijus, because of the Golden Lord and uh, me getting rid of stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, it helped me do a lot of OTKs mm -hmm. because uh I summon in in attack position, mm -hmm. so I can just attack, attack, and try summon back for game. DP is playing most of the meta right now. Uh, Phantom Knight is really popular. Uh, Prankis is really popular. So this card was always alive. And the fact is that uh, sometimes uh, you want to have cards to interact before you activate these cards. I wanted to let the floodgates be the last thing I do because that would be the time that I will really lock them down. I would try to get rid of the monsters that wouldn't be as much of a problem before going into the floodgates. So that's the reason I play 3. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, would you change anything about your main deck or you would probably keep the same? Uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, there's nothing I would change right now. Uh, as when Falling Albus becomes more popular with the structured deck, I might change something in the side deck towards Super Polymerization. But for now, I'm really happy with the main deck. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, you can go to your side deck or extra, it's up to you. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go to the extra. So for the extra, I use uh, one, one Phoenix. Oh, can you move the uh, camera down a little bit? Oh, sorry mm -hmm. about that. Yep. Oh, so, lower button. Like this? Yep. Uh, two words. Oh, you're perfect. Yep. You can see it fine? Yep. Uh, okay. yep. Is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, this is my MVP of the side deck. Um, Two, two. Uh, this is three of. I just took out the, the the third one, but this was three of and and this. Wow. So yeah, the extra people don't use it that much. It's not that important, but it can win you a lot of games. That's true. That's true. Yeah, if you use this properly, you win against Frankies. It's really good against the Brave Engine. You just bounce back the token. Uh, it goes into Zeus. You can also detach under Skill Drain. So it's a way for you to get get rid of one of your traps in, uh, and then go into the, the Eldritch trap. Mm -hmm. So this is really good. Uh, this, every opponent is going to forget about this card in your graveyard. So you can just send it with the, with the trap card and then just forget about it. Just keep playing and your opponent, uh, when he compromises with Asset Skull, we uh, play to win games, they usually forget about this interaction. And you know when your opponent compromises to win, mm -hmm. that's when they're most vulnerable. So when they pop something or they attack something, I will just send it back and that will put me in a better position because they have already wasted a lot of resources to go into game. So this card was really important. That's true, that's true. Well, so yeah, other than that, I don't play the big one, I just play this. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you detach the Golden Lord and bring it back, it's already 85k. Mm -hmm. So you don't need the one to, that goes on top of this one. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So yeah, that's it for the extra. And for the, for the side. Uh, so I played three song judgments. Oh, can I see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you pan down real quick? Yep, three song. Yep. Three song, uh, one dark bright. Mm -hmm. Uh, three inspector borders and uh, old school tech that I haven't used in like 10 years that was by far the MVP of the side deck to Thunder King Ryos. This is uh, for going first. Mm -hmm. uh, my thought behind this is that most people they side out the, the monster re hate. Mm -hmm. They usually put in back row hate. Mm -hmm. So sure. that that leaves them vulnerable to monster floodgates. Mm -hmm. uh, this is really good against Prankies, against Sky Striker. It forces them to make bad plays to get rid of this. That's true. So, so with one card, uh, you get like you annoy them in a way that you your back row is not gonna be as affected. Mm -hmm. So this is really important card. Sometimes one me games just by itself because people didn't expect this card. They were ready for the back row. Not for the floodgates. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So this is um go for going second. The third kaiju. Yep. Oh, can you pen down real quick? Yep, yep. 
the uh, two lava golems and three mixing mine. How was um the Mystic Mine? Was there a time that like you get like worry about if your opponent have like um heavy backward removal most likely? So the thing is that um this will either bait something. Mm -hmm. Uh, most of the time I can bait the Griffon, I can bait the DPE mm -hmm. because if not they wouldn't have any other chance to activate them. Mm -hmm. So I can just bait them and then set the back row, mm -hmm. and that will help me out. Also, I can uh, reveal the the Lord of the Heavenly Pleasure, uh, have the Mist in mind. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I will protect my back row, I will force them to use this. And yeah, it was really good. It was just another way to, to bait something that would bother me. And if I already baited the cards, I can use this to stall at least two, three turns, mm -hmm. enough for me to put me in a position where I can OTK. So yeah, it was really good going second. That's true. That's true. Um, just uh, one more question. I was surprised you didn't play. Uh, there can be only one. Um, cause uh, you were talking about that. Like, there's like time you can activate your golden um lens. Yeah. So I didn't play. Uh, I didn't play. Uh, there can only be one. Just because. Uh, it will. It will lock me. Mm -hmm. From from using this. Mm -hmm. So I I I didn't want to be affected by my own cards. The only card. I will accept being affected is by Ghost and Match. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to keep to stop me from doing OTKs or or putting the pressure. So mm -hmm. there can only be one. It's really good in different matchups, but it, it, the cost for me wasn't worth the, the reward. So yeah, I opted for Ghost and Match and having the pots to get to the cards that I really want. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, what to say? Thank you um, again for your deck profile. Went undefeated, and do you uh, do you know like what was your matchup end of the day? Huh? Do you remember your matchup like your um? Uh, what uh, yeah, you yeah. I play uh, three Frankies, uh, one Dragon Link, uh, one Madoshe, two Sword Souls. I played. Um, let me see what ah Flounder Reef, mm -hmm. and one PK. Dang. So yeah, it was, yeah, it was eight rounds. Uh, went undefeated. And yeah, really happy with the deck. Uh, and yeah, looking forward for YCS coming oh, soon. Sounds good. Your boy Cyberhorn92 is signing out. Thank you.